Hello everyone, you are welcome back to Shabes Online Tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to solve this transportation problem using least cost method. And the given problem read, find the initial basic visible solution of the following transportation problem by least cost cell method. And here is the destination. We are given source, which is what the demand and the supply. So the first thing we are going to check is whether this problem is a balanced or unbalanced one. So to check whether this is a balanced or unbalanced, what we are going to consider is what the supply and the demand. If this, the sum of the supply is equal to the sum of the demand, we say that the problem is a balanced one. But if the sum of the supply is not equal to the sum of the demand, then we say it's unbalanced problem. That means we are going to create another dummy column or row. But let's check. So if we sum all the supply, supply together, 13 plus 18 plus 11 is going to give us 42. Then also if we sum all the demand, 14 plus 16 plus 12 is going to give us 42. So therefore, this problem is said to be a balanced one. So the next thing we are going to consider, as the name imply, least cost cell method. Least. So if you look at this cell, we are going to first allocate to the least value. So what is the least value here? The least means the smallest value on the cell. So the least value here is 2. So our first allocation is going to be on these two, which is the least value. So the next thing you are going to do is to compare the supply and demand corresponding to these two. You supply the, what, the, maximum, the minimum value. So if you look at this, 13 and 16 is correspond to this cell, which is 2. And the minimum one is what? 13. This is the smallest one if you compare 16 and 13. So we first supply what? 13. So now we cancel this 13, then 13 minus 16 is going to remain 3, and we cancel this 16. So the next thing we are going to do, we know this rule, we can delete all the value in this rule because we supply the whole of 13 here. So the next thing we are going to do is to check on deleted value. Which one is the least among them? 3 is the least. So our next allocation is going to be on tray. So now we do the same thing. We compare between the supply and the demand of tray. Which one is the least, the minimum? So we have 18 here and 14. So 14 is a, is a minimum value here. So we're going to supply the whole of 14 here. So this place is going to cancel. And 18 minus 14 is going to remain uh, 4. So now we can delete the whole, the, the remaining value in this column. This only the seven. So the next thing we are going to do is to check this four undeleted value. Which one is the least among them? Five is the least. So our next allocation is going to be on five. Then we do the same thing. We compare the supply and the demand of corresponding to five. Which one is the minimum value? Twelve and eleven. Eleven is the minimum here. Then we supply the whole of eleven. Then we cancel this eleven. Then 12 minus 11 is going to remain 1. Then we cancel this 12. Then we have supplied the whole of, we have allocated the whole of 11 here. Then we can delete the remaining value. So next one, we are left with two undeleted value, which is 8 and 10. So which one is the least? 8 is the least. Then we compare the supply and the demand corresponding to this 8, which is what? 4 and 1. So between 4 and 1, which one is the minimum? It's 1. So therefore, we are going to supply 1 here. Then 4 minus 1 is going to remain 3 here. Then we delete this 1. So the next thing is to check undeleted value, which is remain only 10 here. So then we compare the supply and the demand corresponding to this 10, which is what? We have 3 here and 3 here. Then we supply the remaining three. Then we delete this three, we delete this three. So do we have any undeleted value again? No, that means we are done. So the next thing is to find the least transportation cost. And to find the least transportation cost, what we are going to do, anywhere we allocate a value, then we are going to multiply it by what? The initial basic value. So we allocate value here. So to get the least least transportation transportation cost so we're going to have the first one is what 2 and 13 we're going to multiply 2 by 13 then plus then where do we allocate again we do the allocation here which is what theory multiplied by 14 then plus we do the allocation here 
10 multiplied by 3, then plus, we do the allocation here also, 8 multiplied by 1, then plus, then what do we do allocation? We do allocation here, 5 multiplied by 11, then plus, then that is all. Now we're going to do the multiplication and addition. 2 multiplied by 13 is going to give us 26, then plus 3 multiplied by 14 is going to give us 42, then plus 10 multiplied by 3 is going to give us 30, then plus 8 multiplied by 1 is 8, then 5 multiplied by 11 is going to give us uh, 55. Now if we sum everything together, we're going to have 161. So therefore, 161 is the least transportation cost of this problem. Thank you for watching and please follow and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.